What's the good word, y'all? It's your boy DKB here. So I was checking out some things, and the NFL PA has two of our New York Jets on their rising stars list. And uh, it took me a minute. I'm not familiar with this. I haven't really heard much about it before. I think maybe once a couple years back. But basically, I guess kind of the mission statement, if you will, is that the annual NFL PA rising stars list identifies top rookies and veterans poised to have breakout seasons gain fan support, and ultimately rank among the top sellers of all officially licensed player merchandise. So for the longest, Tom Brady has been leading this list from what I checked out. Um, and it's interesting because you don't see a lot of the more familiar names out there uh, across the board in the NFL. So this is purely kind of a fan-driven situation, right? And so you'll see players that may be higher up on the list that maybe aren't necessarily nationally known uh, as stars. And I would take a look at a guy that we had previously, like Demario Davis, for example, not saying he's on this list, but uh, he was a guy that was very underrated with the New York Jets, and then he's kind of blown up with the New Orleans Saints for anybody that pays attention to the linebacker position, um, and he's still kind of criminally underrated. But nonetheless, we had two New York Jets make this, and so uh, essentially, again, this being a fan-driven contest of popularity almost in a way but this is a combination of guys that have the skills they have the personality um and i guess they have the fan support as mentioned uh to kind of be in that top group of nl player uh, nfl players that you'll see there's probably raking in endorsement deals and sponsorships and all of these other things so it's not a shouldn't be a surprise uh the players that we had and Interestingly enough, it's separated into rookies and veterans. Veterans essentially being anybody that's accrued at least one year in the NFL playing. No rookies for the New York Jets, right? And I think that kind of makes sense. Our top player is a guy that people thought was uh, maybe a low round prospect. We end up taking him in. Overrated according to you know the NFL media and all of that kind of stuff, but there was only two NFL uh, defensive rookies in the uh, top ten rookie list, anyways. Um, so I doubt we were going to make that list, and you're going to see a name like Jalen Carter not be on there. Um, so pretty interesting on that side. But in terms of the veterans list, we have Garrett Wilson and we have uh, Brees Hall on the list. Garrett Wilson being number two, Brees Hall being number four. And I find it interesting because all do, uh, all deserved, I guess. Um, there's probably a lot of names that you could put up there before a guy like Garrett Wilson, right? Um, in terms of the, well, maybe not. Rising stars is, I guess, the, the key situation here. In my mind, I immediately went to guys like Justin Jefferson, uh, but I guess they're not rising anymore, right? They've already reached that status. They're there. They're solidified. So this makes a little bit more sense from that perspective. Garrett Wilson, Brees Hall within the top five. I still find it interesting, though, that you don't have a guy like Sauce Gardner, right? It's only one year, an absolutely amazing year. Uh, we talked about it before. Very similar stats to um, Defensive Player of the Year awards won by defensive backs before. Um, so maybe they're qualifying him as already being a, a, a you know star-studded player. Um, and there's not anything to necessarily rise to with him. Um, DJ Reed, a guy that I feel like, again, is criminally underrated. Um, I'm surprised he's not there since a lot of people don't necessarily recognize him as a star. Uh, and they really dismiss a lot of what he's done as well. And, we you know, I talked about him, too. His statistics um, are on par with guys like a Jalen Ramsey and an Xavier Howard, who a lot of people think are in that, you know, top tier five to ten group. So um, surprised not to see a guy like him there. Quentin Williams isn't on this list, so again, um, he hasn't taken the world by storm prior to this last season, so I would say he's still essentially becoming a rising star in the NFL, and the hope is that he becomes the next version of an Aaron Donald and kind of leading the torch in terms of being the undisputed best tackle in the NFL, but you you know, a one-year sample is tough for anybody, so um, yeah, I don't know. It, it's definitely a few different names that could be up there. I, I get that... Uh, you know, offensive linemen, it would be hard to see them on there, right? They're, they're almost never recognized for anything other than bad to play. So Elijah Vera Tucker wouldn't necessarily uh, um, show up in my mind realistically. But, uh, yeah, those would be the other three guys I would have looked at. Sauce Gardner, DJ Reed, Quentin Williams. Uh, let me know if you guys think of any rising stars, especially with Aaron Rodgers being in the building, uh, that we should 
uh, probably be considering or being aware of. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts and I'll catch you guys again. Peace.